Okay, if the dogs will let me, we'll try take number three here of looking at our next junk journal. Yes, dog now has a chew toy, so maybe she'll be quiet. And this, of course, has the usual letter. And this is Mom's junk journal. So it's pretty, pretty wide there. It is slightly different because it has a ribbon bookmark. And it looks like six, seven signatures, which are these groups of pages sewn in. So I kept finding more and more goodies. And so this one is a bit full. So that's why it has a tie to try to keep it closed. So what's inside? Well, we have to have our four leaf clovers laminated real four leaf clovers there and oh this one has to be checked out there's a due date on this one so what's inside well mom's takes on a slightly different look than some of the others so when i think of mom i think of recipes i think of native american stuff irish stuff so we have a whole bookstore in town called the cactus bookstore used bookstore which specializes in old western stuff like magazines and books that are western in nature so that's where a lot of these old newspapers and stuff came from it was cactus bookstore downtown i didn't tell them i was tearing up their books so what do we have we have old photos i actually wrote for a while on a Facebook group called the Earth Story that's still around. So I did include, because I had saved them and I didn't need them anymore. So here's one of my articles and photos from the Earth Story and various other tags and other goodies, old books on the back. And of course this one has a little bit more of the magazines from 1950s because I was thinking recipes and there's a lot of those in there. And I do a lot of those uh, mystery boxes, crime boxes and all that which have a little uh, story you have to solve. So that's where some of these tidbits come from. I say evidence and all that. It's not real. But it is part of like those little murder mysteries that you can buy, kind of like escape rooms, and try to solve. So here's another four leaf clover. I did this one the more traditional way on the wax paper. They don't make wax paper that like they used to. It doesn't hold as well as it used to. But we have paint chips. We have hymnal papers. All sorts of goodies. There's a family circle from, oh, what year is this? Uh, I can't see it at the moment, but really old. Nope, my dog is trying to help me out. So what else do we have? More maps. There's a map, probably there's a map of Ireland in there. And my postcards and old pictures, envelopes with some goodies, maybe even a crossword puzzle hidden in there. Because why not? These little stamp album pages and hurricane tracking chart. Gotta have one of those if you live in Houston. More goodies. Oh, this was interesting. I don't know if you can see that. That is Irish Gaelic instruction book that I found at a used bookstore in Abilene. That was kind of cool. And more recipes. After the first section here, which is kind of a mishmash of things, the Later sections take on different themes. So let me move forward a little bit, skip through some of that, so I don't bore you too much. Oh, 
And at the dividing areas between pages, Mom's has some of these interesting little folio foldouts with tags and things. So much to explore in here and pull out. So I had fun making these. It's like, how many ways can you make tags in little pockets in a book? Now this section is a recipes section. So you can actually get on Etsy either digital printouts, which some of these are, or real. Like, I'll show you some of the real ones here later on. Real old recipes. Oh, there's another four leaf clover. That one I sewed around. Because the wax paper really wasn't holding very well. And here's the whole section of recipes. There's one of the real recipe cards. So, lots and lots of interesting things to cook throughout this little section. There you go. How to brine a turkey. Oh, and we all need our favorite hot dog recipes. Yum. So, old cookbook pages. I found this at Goodwill. It was a whole cowboy cookbook that had some really neat recipes and ideas in there. So that's included. So that's a little peek at the recipe section. And my dog's moving again, so I will have to. This section is more of a Native American theme overall. And yeah, more Irish and green stuff in there, because why not? So we have some magazines, sections that I found at that bookstore downtown and hey everybody's gotta have a picture of Kevin Costner hiding it hiding in there right this was a really fun book that I found at an antique store downtown it was a authentic Native American sign language teaching book so there are several pages in here from that book and old newspapers Here's the cover of that book with a little bit more about the person who wrote it and how that book came about. So that's kind of the, the historical old section in here. Oh, then <laughs> I'll let mom explore this more. but. I subscribed to a mystery box for a while called Curios and Conundrums, and they would come with things like this. This is a recipe book, but somewhere within here are clues to the puzzles that had to be solved, like a card that was a playing card and other things, and some really funny recipes in there, so I thought that was worth including. Uh, some music pages some sort of old receipts and stuff. This was an old kid's encyclopedia about plants. More envelopes and goodies. Kind of get the idea. Photos. Cards. Oh, and I put this little thing together too. Another little booklet with other bits and goodies. That was kind of fun to make. Old photos. These are kind of fun. So if you're wondering who in the world all these people are, you probably don't know them. I don't know them either. But in the antique stores, they sell these old photos for like 25 cents a piece. And you kind of feel sorry for the history that's lost. Nobody knows who these people are. They come from old estate sales or whatever. So I like to rescue some of those old photos. Well, there are a few of these in here. These I ordered off of Amazon. These were neat Celtic stickers, so you can actually use those somewhere. Or just leave them in here. Some blank pages. More of that recipe book. Here's a really old work basket. 
issue another old photo with some people that I just don't know. So that's kind of the the gist of this one. Well, and if you need some money, there you go. So I don't want to spoil all the secrets and fun holdouts that are in here, but there's plenty there to look at. So that is mom's.